Hello, two viewers, travellers, and welcome back to the best crew channel here on YouTube. Back on FM 24's Trophy Collector Series with West Ham United. We're coming off the back of losing in the Carabao Cup final. If you missed last part, ladies and gentlemen, won a bit of bad form. A draw away from home against Chelsea. A, draw, a loss, sorry, away from home against Spurs, which we really should have won. And then a loss in the Carabao Cup final against Liverpool. We get revenge against them potentially here today in the league, but in three games we've played them, we've never beaten them in our career just yet. We also kick off the Europa League. Of course, in Trophy Collector, we have 14 major trophies to win. The Europa League is one of them. So, potential, well, our last chance to win a trophy this season because the Premier League, Man City are still unbeaten after 27 games. I don't think they're going to lose a game. So, the Premier League's gone. The Europa League is the main one to focus on. But first, we kick off at home against Liverpool. Try to get some momentum and form before the Europa League kicks off. Ladies and gentlemen, leave a thumbs up if you're excited and let's dive right in with the intro. Right, Fabian's got a howler last game, so we're not going to play. You know, Ariola's back from injury. Let's play Ariola because that Karnasheshi guy has not been great either. We do have a lot of injuries, a lot of injuries, which is not ideal. Now, I don't know if we should rest. I mean, we can rest our players after. It's fine. Levage has been playing well. Adley's been a bit iffy. I'm going to go Paqueta on the left-hand side. We're still waiting for Smith Rowe to come back. Baptiste to come back as well. A few people unregistered. Melvin Barda, Gwen, Mavropanos, Bornau is still very unhappy. Pershers. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go Pershers at the back and see just how he does. Home against Liverpool. And hopefully we can kick off with a win. It's gonna be tough though. We know it's gonna be tough in all of our previous matches against Liverpool. Like I said, we have never beaten them. Come on, you Irons. Big, big win to keep our top four hopes on. Remember, because we're gonna be at West Ham next season for the most chance. I don't think there's going to be many big job opportunities available. And even if there are, I don't think we're going to get big job opportunities yet. Or job interviews because we've not won any trophies. So we're going to be in next season. And obviously we have to win the Europa League as well. But I want a chance. I want to try in the Champions League. If we get top four, I want to have a test in the Champions League. See if we can compete in the Champions League next year with this West Ham club. We also get more money if we finish in the Champions League as well. So we desperately... Oh, Chelsea losing is good. We desperately want to finish in these top four spots to get as much money and reputation as possible for next season. Man, you are losing again. I think Conte is going to get sacked again. I really, really do. And if he does get sacked again, maybe they'll look at me. Because last time, when Ten Hag got sacked, man, you basically said they want a winner. And because we haven't won anything, they don't want to sign us. But they signed Conte, a proven winner. And he might get sacked with them. Maybe, maybe, man, you would pick us up. Who knows? Not much happening. Halftime, nil-nil. Quite a boring game, if you ask me. When it's boring, you change things up. Uh, Jared Bowen up top. Levarja in cam. Kudus on the right side. Shot-wise, it's pretty even. We've had eight shots through on target. They've only had one shot on target. So shot-wise, we're doing very well. Possession-wise, we're not holding on to the ball. Tottenham got 2 no. Jared Bowen really struggling. 6.2. Okay, he's really, really struggling. Uh, Danny Ings is on the bench. You know what? He scored a late goal before. Danny Ings against Liverpool. Why not? Did he play for Liverpool before? My bugging. He did. I thought so. Against his former club. Here we go. Paqueta is also struggling. We'll go, I mean, Adley on the left. Barely any highlights. It's been a very boring game. Very boring game. Not much happening at all. But sometimes against Liverpool, the boring games are good because you don't want much highlights against Liverpool. You want one random own goal. And you want to take a 1-0 win. Kudus, good tackle. Oh, bad pass, though. You can't win the ball back and then give it straight away. Cuts inside. We can't let him get that. Well done, Mavapanos. Again, look. We get the ball. We clear it. Straight back to Liverpool. We can't hold on to the ball. I went for a drink. It's not there. Curtis Jones. It is 1-0 Liverpool. I told you. They're going to take their chance. That is the problem against Liverpool. It doesn't matter if you have more shots than them. If you give them one opportunity, they will take it. Our attackers had such bad form today, man. We've had no opportunity. Oh, my God. All up to, I mean, Adley. Oh, my God. On to Danny Ings. Chest down. Goes back to Adley. Ward Prowse is saved. I don't know why. We just didn't shoot there. Kudu's having a stinker, dude. 
Can Ferdy play on the right? Not really. Uh, I will just keep Kudus on. It's too late now anyway. We didn't get peppered, which is a good thing. But Liverpool... Liverpool are definitely our bogey team. And uh, we know that now, at least. Liverpool are our bogey team. Three matches against them. No, I think this is four matches now. And we've lost all of them. We had two in the Premier League. One in the FA Cup and then in the Carabao Cup final. I'm pretty sure. I might be wrong. They're in the... Yeah, they're in the Europa League as well. Oh, great. It's going to come down to us versus Liverpool, isn't it? And they're going to beat us in the FA... Oh, in the Europa League. Oh, it's going to be awful. It's going to be awful. We lose 1-0 at home. We've been barred out for three weeks. Fantastic. As if we don't have enough injuries as... It is already. Keep Loney at club. Extend player loans. Reason has played a lot for us. Kelvin Phillips. Has he played... 16 appearances. I mean, he's not been great. And we're also paying him full-time contract. We're paying him a lot. I don't want to keep him. I don't, I don't even think he's that good, if I'm honest with you. I don't want to keep him at the club. Hopefully, we don't have to keep his loan deal. I don't like Calvin Phillips. He's not been good for us. Right, first match against Feyenoord. Uh, the 4-3-3 has not been doing too well recently away from home. We're going to go Lavage on the left. Jared Bowen up top. Smith, Rowe, Ben Johnson both on the bench. Slowly re uh, returning from... Injury away from him against Feyenoord win the blue kit. It's not gonna be an easy game That's for sure. They're playing the four Two three one the Europa League the last trophy possible for us to win in the trophy collector This season It would be amazing to if we could start off by winning and ticking the Europa League off Getting that done with West Ham that would be incredible We'd never have to worry or focus on the Europa League ever again if we can do it this first season it would be amazing. Let's see how it goes. Good to have Ariola back. 7.2 rating already. That means he's making a lot of saves because, as you can see, they are having a lot of shots. We are being dominated, which I don't like the feeling of. We had such a good season all year long. It all led to this, this point, the Europa League knockouts. This is what we've been working towards. I might just switch to the 4-2-3-1 one second half. I feel like the 4-3-3 three, three has done its course. It helped us in the first half of the season, but we moved away from it. We became more of an attacking team. We don't have to sit back and counter anymore. It's not working. We're going to go to it. Calvin Phillips can come off. Ward Prowse. Well, actually, instead of making a sub already, because I want to hold on to our subs, we'll put Paqueta, or, oh, Paqueta on the left. There we go. Kudos on the right. Like that. 1-0 down. Not a good start. Not a good start. Remember, it is two legs. We do have a home leg coming up. So if we can limit it to 1-0, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind. Good interception. Paqueta. Levarja. Paqueta. Well done. Well done. We still have no target forward, of course, so we don't really cross in. We need to get it down to the right-hand side. Everyone's up on the left now. Paqueta, I think he's on side. They're going VAR. I know he's going to be off. I'm getting it. Too foul. Awful. Oh, what is that throwing, man? Too foul. No, boys. What are we doing? This is our last trophy to win. Don't make it too good. Takua Gwed. Oh, my God. It goes wide. Come on, you eyes. What are we playing at? Oh, let's bring Smith Rowe on, man. Let's bring Smith Rowe on. And see how he does. I know he's just come back from injury. I wanted to keep him. Oh, my God. What a goal. What a goal. It's 2-0. Not what we needed. We should have just rested Smithrow. We shouldn't have brought him on. Liverpool are winning their game. 2-0. It's not ideal. We might... Bro, we might actually go out in the first knockout round. Are you serious? I was actually hopeful that we could beat Feyenoord. I thought we could get like a semi-final, maybe even a final of the Europa League. Have like a massive like, oh my god, West Ham in the final of the Europa League moment. And we're going out in the first round. We need to step up in that home leg. We really do. If we do go out this episode, the next uh, next episode or two are just going to be focused on getting top four in the Premier League. Because that's all that we're left in. Don't make it three. Don't make it three. Oh my god, they've made it three. Instant result, man. Get me out of here. We claw back one goal. Smith throw scores. 3-1 on aggregate. I don't have much hope. Sushek out for two months. Bro, the injuries, dude. The injuries have been insane. Crystal Palace away. 3-3. We can't even beat Palace. I think third is gone now. With that Liverpool win. I think we're just trying to claw onto fourth. If I'm honest with you. Ward Prowse is injured. Kudus. Oh my. Bro. Injuries have, have been the death of us. We, at, least we, we are, at least we can blame something. Injuries have been the death of us. 
Next time, take on Feyenoord in European meeting. Injury-stricken West Ham. Yeah, tell me about it, ladies and gentlemen. Tell me about it. Highest average rating. Who's this guy? Averaging a 7.0. Oh, my goodness. Six goals, four assists. Left winger. Here we go, then. All of them are unregistered and not available to play. Right, Lavage up top. I mean, Adley's been playing well. Jared Bowen's been having a stinker recently. An absolute stink. I'm going to go uh, get some Fernandez in the middle. I mean, Jared Bowen's been awful, but I can't really drop it. Every, all of our wingers have been awful. Uh, Smith Rowe. Well, what we could do, actually, Smith Rowe's been playing really well. We're going to risk it. I'm going to risk it very, very much. Smith Rowe on the left. We're going to go Lavarja up top. I mean, Andy on the right. We are dropping Jared Bowen. Dropping Jared Bowen. Is that the smart choice? I don't know. Maybe off the bench, he can be a spark plug for us and have a big moment. Oh, it's a risky one. It's very, very risky. Come on, you irons. To keep us alive in the Europa League, we need to go early doors. So many injuries to this team. Who do we look to to be a hero? Not Lucas Paqueta, clearly. Jesus Christ. Fernandez, well done. Smith Rowe. Levarja, long shot off the crossbar. Oh, my goodness. That would have been lovely to score. Fernandez wins the back. Oh, he's offside. He's offside. He's offside. Uh, as long as you know, 18th goal, though, would be good. He's offside. Disallowed. We knew that. Let's move on. That's a good start, though. A very, very good start. Smith throws not fully fit. But he's still playing amazing. Adley up to Levarja. Oh, I'll wait for someone, wait for someone. Avropanos. Paqueta. Oh, it's so nerve-wracking, man. It's so much more nerve-wracking than FIFA because you have no control over it. Like, people say, like, oh, I prefer FIFA because you actually, I want to play the game. I prefer not playing. I think it's so much more immersive and stressful when you're not actually playing because when they score goals like that, it feels even more amazing. Marco Levarja, signing of the freaking season. What a goal. Oh, and Smith Rowe. This is why we shouldn't have started him. Emil Smith Rowe gets injured. Oh, I knew it was a risk starting him since he just came. See, that was the only problem. We signed Emil Smith Rowe from Arsenal, and when we signed him, I was like, "That's a massive signing. We can make him reach his potential." The only downside to Emil Smith Rowe is his injury woes, and they continue with West Ham. I was hoping he overcome them, and they wouldn't be a problem, but they continue to plague his career. We need another one. We need to not concede Ariola. Good hands. Right, Adley Levarge is playing well. Bowen, you need to come on and have a blinder now. You need to... Because you're, like, supposed to be our main man, Jared Bowen. The main man of West Ham. It's supposed to be Jared Bowen. So I need him to come on and have a 10-star performance. Ben Johnson. Bowen. Oh, my God, he scores. Jared Bowen. Slap the chest. Kiss the badge. As soon as I said he needs to have a banger, that's what he does. 3-3 three, three in aggregate. Oh, my God. We're so good away from home. We need a new tactic for away. We need... We can't do that 4-3-3 three, three in the Europa League anymore. We need a new tactic for away games. We'll have a look at that after. For now, we focus on the task at hand. Levarja with the corner. Aguerd front post. Oh, what a save. Wow. No, he wasn't even a save. He missed. Well, Adley's knackered. Adley gets a knock. He has an assist already. Half an hour. We sh should we... No, he's going up. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Adli, he's still one of our best players. I don't want to take him off. Right, 15 minutes. Now we can take him off because I don't want him dying. If we don't... Uh, I don't think there's away goals anymore. So I think it goes to extra time. If I'm not mistaken. Paquette... Oh. Right, Paquette is having a stinker. Do... Oh. Am I... Do we trust... Uh, Kudus can stay calm. I was going to mess them around. No. Kudus can stay calm. I'm liking Lavarja up top. I'm liking Bowen on the right. Come, Phyllis. Well done. Mavropanos. Bowen. Mavropanos. Let's keep on the floor, boys. Let's keep on the floor. Paqueta. Oh, I think he's off. Oh, my God. Oh, he's not. Paqueta assist. Oh, my God. Paqueta can stay on. Paqueta can stay on. Marco Lavaggio with five minutes left to play. What a goal. Paqueta threw board him. Open up the body. He's on a brace. That's why he's our starting striker. Praise the boys. London Stadium. Oh, no. On their feet. London Stadium on their feet. No. Oh my god, Ariola, what a save. Oh my god, he missed it. He missed an open goal. 
He missed an open goal. Oh my god. Full time whistle. What a comeback. Holy moly. From 3 1 down, a 3 0 home win. He's up for two weeks again. 1 0 in the Europa League. Oh my god. The comeback of dreams. That is what FM is all about. That is what Trophy Collector is all about. That was insane. It's the last stage of the Europa League. They're happy with that. Thank you very, very much. Oh, that was insane. Edson Alvarez, 24 mil. See, he's a good player. 16 appearances, one goal. One assist. He's not really done much for us. They signed him for 32 mil. Good stamina, good team. He's a good CDM. But again, I don't think we're using CDM. He can play centre-back as well, but he's not really doing it for me. If we can get like 40-odd mil from as well... He's on 100k as well. Yeah, get rid of him, mate. Get rid of him. 29 mil. Nah, I want at least over 30 if possible. Wolves are... Oh, there's an international break. That's going to be good for our injuries. At least we have time to rest. That's going to be very, very good. Europa League draw. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know the Europa League music. First team, AS Roma. Oh. Well, the draw's done, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. <laughs> oh, my God. Roma, West Ham, Liverpool, Brighton. Of course, they get Brighton. Sporting Freiburg. And they get... Why are they called Parthenope? Napoli. I, I need to get the the name fix. Roma. Roma. They're third in Serie A right now. Oh, Roma's a good team. Dybala up top. El Sharawi. Tammy Abraham injured right now, but he'll be back. Oh, yeah, tough team. Very tough team. Last game before a much-needed international break. With all these injuries, we desperately need an international break. So that is good. Ferdi uh, can play left back. Kudus on the right. Lavarja, get back up top. You've been amazing. Baptiste, not to play. Okay, we're not going to play him then. Fernanda, there we go. He can play there. Kudus. There we go. That's a, that's a decent little team. We'll change the centre-backs as well. Uh, we're selling him. We'll play Bourne now. I want to get his happiness up. Not a bad team. Home against Wolves. We need to keep winning to make sure we get champs next season. Ending off the episode of a Premier League fixture. After the amazing result at the London Stadium. Let's get another one. Keep the press going. I don't like that this is still from kickoff right now. Pedro Neto. Ben Johnson. Almost got an amazing assist. Karnaseshi. The first save I've ever seen him make for the club. Since bringing him in. What a save indeed. That's one thing I love about FM as well. Is when you make a signing, the, the the risk and reward, you know, you make it like Marco Lavaggia, right? We brought him in. I've never used him on FM before. So some players, you don't know if they're going to do well or not. Same as I mean Adley, who I've never used before. What a goal. They're going to VAR. I think he was on. But that's the risk and reward. It's just like real life. Sometimes you bring in a player, you expect them to do really, really well. And they do absolutely awfully. They awarded the goal. And, and vice versa. You bring in a player, sometimes you don't know if they're going to do well. And all of a sudden, they become one of your best players. It, it's that... On FM, it's such an amazing feeling. Signing a player, not knowing if they're going to do well or not, and seeing them blossom into a star or fall into an absolute awful signing is such an awesome feeling. They come straight back, though. This goalkeeper, Kana Seshi, he's so um, inconsistent. He really, really is. Nice passing. Ben Johnson, he pushes up a lot. There's always space in behind him. Oh, he goes down. Oh, Michael Oliver, of course he gives a peno. Of course he does. Yeah, they're never going to disallow that. 100%. Doyle's taken. He steps up. And he slots it home. 2-1 down. Then Johnson. He loves to attack down that right-hand side. That's for sure. Fernandez. Go for a long shot line. Oh, God. Never shoot again in your life. I forgot he has like eight finishing. Stay back. He's one I'm not sure about. Jetson. I don't know if it's Jetson or Jetson. I keep switching his name. But he's one I'm not too sure about. He's more of a defensive player. He has good physicals and mentals. So I think that's the main thing we should focus on with him. He's not going to be attacking at all. Oh, my God. Sarabia. Kudus header out. Lavaje. He's up there all alone. He needs some help. Through ball, through ball. Oh, Paqueta was there. Lavaje's tracking back. Nelson Semedo has the pace on him. Early cross in. Ben Johnson. Good header clear. Bornal can keep it in as well. Don't mess about with it, Bornal. Ben Johnson down this right-hand side. Kudus into Phillips. Paqueta. What a ball. I mean, Adley touching shot. Oh, he goes wide. What a save. Oh, Ben Johnson injury. Oh, my God. We can't keep getting injuries, man. We, 
It's criminal. It's so, so criminal. I don't understand it. Everyone's just going down. It's going to be the death of our season. What a masterclass, by the way, against Feyenoord. Not starting Jared Bowen. An absolute masterclass, bringing him on. He scored the goal. That amazing off the bench. Oh, my God. Well, now on a 6.2. Yeah, get him gone, man. He's been moaning his entire career here. That he's not playing enough. Every time I do play him, he's awful. Sell him. I don't care if we lose money on him. Him and Casal. Speaking of going back to earlier, the bad signings. Two bad signings. We'll sell them and move on. And, and reinforce our defense. Next season, Lavarja. I think he's off. No, he's not. 20 for the season. What a signing Marco Lavarja has been. What a signing. Oh, my goodness. 2-2. Two, two. I've never used him before. I just randomly saw him. And I was like, he's a bit of me. Six foot. He's on the older side, 30 years of age. But sometimes the older players are worth it. They have that experience. He's absolutely amazing. We just need one more now. Let's keep our morale going, our form going. Into the international break. They're down the right hand side. Ball in. Mavroponis is there. They're Varja with the ball. Out to Kudus. Switch it. Perquita. One more to Adley. No, Lavage in the box. Oh, my God. They're going VAR. They're going VAR. I thought he was on then, though. I thought he was on. But sometimes I have a wonky eye. Oh, my God. He's on. Marco Lavage, the hero of all hero. What? What's going on? What? 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 The cameraman wasn't even watching. The cameraman was not even watching. And they make it 3-3. Third in the box. He's had a bad game. Oh, Calvin Phillips. You've got to be scoring there, lad. A lot of tight legs. I mean, it's the, it's the international break after. So tight legs don't really matter too much. Because they're all going to get a rest eventually. So we might as well keep them on. 3-3. Three, three. Levarge. He can score and he can assist. Oh, my goodness. He can do it all, ladies and gentlemen. Right, last five minutes. Now we're going to rest all of them. Uh, we'll bring on Jared Bowen. We'll bring on Danny Ings. And we'll bring on Baptiste. We'll rest our big three. And hopefully hold on to a 4-3 lead. I mean, we dominated them shot-wise. The 4-2-3 on at home. We know how to play at home, that's for sure. Konoseshi, hold on to it. Hold on to it. Just hold. Just hold. You don't have to play it. Well done. Waste time, waste time, waste time. Bowen. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well done, Mavropanos. Oh, hey, Danny Ings. He's gone. Danny Ings off the bench. Oh, to wrap up the game, you idiot. Levarge ball across, cleared out. How much time? Added four minutes. Oh, good foul, Mavropanos. Fantastic foul. Come on, ref. What is... What, what? I don't know why I'm saying come on. There's still four minutes, to be fair. So I don't know why I'm saying come on, ref. We just need to hold on to the ball. Jared Bowen. One more to Levarge. Oh. Wide. Two chances to wrap up the game. Varja, two goals and assists. What a masterclass he's had. 4-3 at London Stadium. After the amazing performance against Feyenoord. What a way to end off the episode. Into the international break, ladies and gentlemen. That is what we wanted. Next episode, we have, a we have Man City and both legs against AS Roma as the season is coming to a close. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll catch you on the next one of Trophy Collector. Much of as always, take care. And peace. Before you go, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We yeah. Easy to see the truth. I never want us to burn out. I never want us to burn out.